Hi there, Simon from Manchester Wine School here. What's the wine I've got for uh, Corona Day 2? Uh, Rustenburg Grenache. 2017, all the way from Stellenbosch in South Africa. I think I, I think I bought this at Majestic's, about uh, one of those where it was a certain price and then about two thirds the price if you bought um, if you bought a few bottles. So I bought a few bottles and got it for, I think it was about 10 quid when I uh, ended up around there. Um, one of my problems with Grenache is my wife also loves Grenache. So um, whenever we have bottles in, I have to share them with her. It's not fair. Uh, we have we have quite nice glasses. Well, they're okay glasses. They're, they're the sort of things that if you drop one, it doesn't really matter. But we normally get about five glasses out of a bottle of wine if we end up fighting over that fifth glass. That's usually a sign that the wine's pretty good. Anyway, um, Rustenburg, better known for its uh, Bordeaux-style reds, John X. Merriman and uh, uh, stuff like that. What's it called? Peter Barlow? Is it already Peter Barlow the Chardonnay? I can't remember. I think it's Peter Barlow the top uh, the top red. Um, but they've been doing Grenache for, a, for a, a short number of times. I think this is about the third or fourth vintage of it. Um, but I look at the colour of it. This isn't the colour I want my Grenache to be. I want my Grenache to be juicy and gluggable. It's just come out of my... Uh, uh, reasonably well stocked cellar, so I'm uh, I'm, I'm okay for for the next few uh, weeks, uh, months. Uh, if it goes on years, well, then I'm a bit stuffed. But uh, anyway, smells good. It smells uh, juicy rosehip syrup and uh, uh, things like strawberries. But there's also a little bit of herbiness in there too. So I'll have a swig. Feels like a wine that yes it's just been released from its cage and almost I want, I want to uh, give it a chance to breathe come out of its shell um, and it is a little on the cool side I, in summer I'd be very happy to drink it at this temperature uh, on a day like this when it's, it's been okay during the day it's a bit, uh, uh, you're getting a bit cooler now uh, so I want this to warm up and uh, then I think it'd be rather pleasant. And uh, I think we're on pate and toast tonight. I made some chicken liver pate. Uh, should go down rather nicely. And uh, uh, yes, it's, it's, it's getting a little bit, a few more layers each time I come back to it. Uh, there's this, yeah, the strawberries, the plums, and um, a slightly wilder, uh, herbier side comes out of it. What I really like about it as well is sometimes I, I pick up uh, some South African reds and there is this, what I call the cake bake about them. There's nothing like that about here. Here it smells like juicy, uh, plush, plump, and um, I, hesitate, I don't like the word smashable, but it feels like one of those that uh, uh, it will be refreshing and will go down rather well. So I've got a feeling that we're probably gonna be fighting over that last glass. Anyway, so I'm a good wine. Uh, hope you're on good wine tonight and the rest of the week and the rest of the month and the rest of the coronavirus. Whenever it lasts still, uh, enjoy yourself, uh, keep yourself safe and drink some good wine. See you soon.